This week, a gag so cool, it'll fool yourself. This scamtacular episode of Scam School brought to you by Squarespace and Gamefly. Welcome to your once weekly show for natural male enhancement. Scam School, the only show dedicated to social engineering at the bar and on the street. I'm your host, Brian Brushwood, and this week's gag is a good one. It's fun to do, it fools yourself, it fools your friends. You can use it to make some money or just show off a cool trick because we're gonna play with sink or swim match heads. Hey, I'm Brian, what's your name? Fiona, nice Fiona, to meet you. Fiona, good to meet you, and you are? Hapa. Hapa, awesome. Now, you're a fan of Scam School, right? Yeah, I've awesome. been watching since uh, Eileen was just a, a freelance editor. Oh, re oh, really? Since the first episode? Yeah, yeah, wow, right back from the beginning. Look at them, now we're in triple <laughs> digits now. This is huge. All right, this is gonna be one of those quick and dirty episodes. I'm gonna set something up, I'm gonna blow you away, I'm gonna teach you how it's done. Here's the thing, I grabbed a beer bottle. This works with any bottle, all you need is a bottle. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take three of these matches, I'm gonna break off the head for it. Hang on. That's gotta be bad for you, actually biting off the heads of matches. Right here. I find this really surprising. You can't cut them with a scissors. Oh, you can cut them with scissors. But who's got, who's, who's got scissors <laughs> at the bar? I gotta show you my monstrous choppers. <laughs> but here's what really surprises me because everyone thinks it's one way and they're always shocked when it turns out to the other. I'm not gonna say what, what's gonna happen but I'm gonna let you guys bet on it. I broke off three match heads. Here's what I'm about to do. I'm about to take these three match heads and, put, and obviously this bottle, I just, I, it was a beer bottle, we filled it with water. I'm gonna put them on the beer bottle and I'm just gonna cover it up with my thumb. The question is, are the match heads going to float or sink? Fiona, if you were a betting person, I don't know, what does your gut tell you right now? I think that they're going to, Sink. You said, really? All well, right. You said it's the opposite of well, well, I didn't, I didn't say that. I just said it might be. Who knows? I tell you what, actually, let's say, uh, let's make it interesting. Everyone pull out a buck. Okay. All right. So we pull this. Wow, that was awful fast. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, it was like <laughs> ready, boss? <laughs> let's go ahead and make a bet. Okay, so your bet is, your bet is they'll sink. See, now it's interesting because you got a dollar on the line. So are you, are you going with sinking? Yeah. All right, go ahead and put it out. One, your one dollar says it's gonna sink. What do you say, sir? I say it's gonna float. You say it's gonna float. One dollar says it's gonna float. And here's what's crazy is I'm gonna take both of your bets because I'm gonna wager that one will sink, one will float, and one will remain suspended halfway down the glass. Okay. Mm, yeah. Spooky. <laughs> like what manner of witchcraft is this, sir? Here we go. I'm gonna drop the match heads in. Cover it up with my thumb. You're, you're like, but it's floating. It's floating. Yeah, it's floating. I win. What is it? Oh, sorry. Here we go. Now give me your monies! <laughs> all right, now boy, first of all, you can get your dollars back. I'm not gonna hold you to it. Aww, and even better than that, I'm actually gonna tell you guys exactly how this works. But first, we gotta thank our sponsors. All right. Let's talk about Squarespace because it's finally here, the Squarespace iPhone app, and it is freaking gorgeous. You can manage your entire Squarespace site on the go, post and edit blog entries, you can upload pictures on the fly, manage your content, preview your updates, access your site statistics, and it's all seamlessly integrated with your iPhone. I'm telling you, you don't even need a computer anymore. You can blog from the bar and claim you're working and kind of be telling the truth. Now here's the thing, you know everybody's moving over to Squarespace. It's no secret, they've got the best system around and everybody knows it. The only question is, whose promo code are you going to use when you sign up? Whose promo code is going to get you 10% off the lifetime of your order? And most importantly, whose promo code will keep you swimming in free drinks? It's gotta be promo code scam school. All one word, head on over there, sign up now, make America proud. Make your mom proud. Hell, make me proud. All right, so all the science people right now are rolling their eyes. They're like, well, I know exactly what that is. This is a Cartesian diver principle, also called the Cartesian devil. I don't know who actually talks that way, but that's what this is. This is something, it's named for Rene Descartes, and it works on something called the Pascal principle. 
basically, classically, have you ever seen those, um, uh, I guess they're thermometers that have different things bubbling up and down based on the temperature? Same general idea. What happens is you have some kind of vessel that has air in it that just barely floats. By itself, that works just fine. When you increase the pressure of the water, it causes all the air inside the diver, inside the vessel, to contra contract. And when it does, that makes it heavier than the water, so it goes back down. And it just so happens that match heads are absolutely perfect to make little miniature Cartesian divers. So when you press down with pressure, they go falling right on down. Now what's cool about match heads is because of the randomness, the way you break them off, no two of them are gonna have exactly the same amount of air in them, which is why I can guarantee that there's some level that I can press that will cause one to go all the way to the bottom, one to stay floating at the top, and one to suspend somewhere in the middle. Does that make sense? Now there's a couple of things to remember. If you get too much wood when you break off the match head, there's too much air trapped in the wood and it's too floaty so no matter how hard you push, you're not gonna be able to get it down there. And the longer they sit inside the water, the less air there is, and the less hard you're gonna to have to push down on the pressure in order to get it to go down and float. But here's what I'm gonna do. I'm actually gonna let you guys get hands on and try it yourself, and I'm gonna show you an alternate handling that doesn't involve match heads, but uses two items that you can likely find at any gas station right now. All right, let's talk about Gamefly. You like games, I like games, and Gamefly is the largest online video game rental service that offers you a choice from over 6,000 new and classic titles from all consoles and handhelds. They got plans starting at $15.95 a month, and members can rent one to four games at a time and keep them as long as you like, with no late fees, no due dates, and shipping is always free. Once you're done playing a game, just send it back and Gamefly will send you the next one. And if you really like the game you're playing, just click on Keep It on the Gamefly website and the game is yours at a discounted price. Gamefly will even mail you the case and manuals free of charge. The best part is Scam School fans get a free two-week trial when you go to Gamefly.com slash Scam School. That's Gamefly.com slash Scam School. It's completely free. It's as good as winning a free drink. Get on over there. All right, who wants to be my guinea pig? Who wants to go first? I'll do it. Rafa. All right, Rafa, take the matches. Now, first of all, remember, when you break off the heads of the matches, make sure you break it off as close as you can. Now, I use my teeth because I found out that it's really hard to break it off manually like this. Every time I break it off by pushing it on the table, I always get way too much wood. That did not sound right. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but there's too much wood attached to the match head, and they tend to float way too much. So I bite it off right at the very edge. Finger grab. Welcome. All right, so we got one, two, three. Yes. All right, and so what is the bet that you make, sir? Okay, so what do you guys say? This is this, this three matches are going to float or sink? I don't know about you, Fiona, but I think one will float, one will sink, and one will stay right in the middle. Really? Yeah, let's see. Let's see what happens. I hate you. <laughs> but, but you see, here's what's great, though, is because you actually have total control. And if everyone says they'll float, you can make them all sink. Or, and in fact, you could do the trick twice. You can make them sink. You can have one go at the top bottom, one at the top. You are in complete control. So let's say you got a joker who said something like that. What would you do? I would say, uh, really? You would drop them in and say, screw you, they float. <laughs> <laughs> That's, or I would say, uh, maybe they'll all sink. That's true. Well, let's see. Okay, here we go. You want the ridge of your thumb to line up right there with the lip. Now I've got a perfect seal, and you can push down, and then they'll start dropping down. Oh, I got it, I got it. You got it, you got it, you got, got, it, got, it. It, I got it. I got it, I got it. There it is! Hey. All the way down. One more, one more. Now I'm just getting cocky. <laughs> yeah, you are. Get get the other one. Get, get it suspended right in the middle. Yeah, then you will right. truly be a graduate. Yeah. And there it's it like is. it's kind of a touch thing, right? Yeah. You can totally feel it. There you go. All right, Fiona, you're on deck. Make it happen. <laughs> oh, you might not have the right shape of thumb. What an interesting <laughs> problem. <laughs> Because it, it it doesn't take a lot of pressure right now. Thumb? No, I mean your thumbs are lovely, but my bottom. <laughs> well, you want to, and you'll have to figure out with your own fingers. But you want to get a perfect seal on there as much as you can, so you can push down and and make that pressure happen. 
So, so when, I, when you push it down, you're not getting a, a seal on there at all, huh? You know what? Try this. Try hooking your thumb over it and kind of pulling it back so that the, the, the flesh of your thumb kind of fans out and fills up that area. Does that make sense? There you go. Now, it could be that you just, your thumbs are not the right <laughs> shape for that particular bottle. Try different bottles. You can get one with a more narrow neck in there. Okay. Or next time you're at a uh, fast food joint, get yourself a bottle of water. And this idea is not mine. This one came from uh, Diamond Jim Tyler, a friend of mine who wrote the book Bamboozlers. And this was one of my favorite bits in there. And in fact, his sequel to the book Bamboozlers 2 just came out. And he gave us permission to share this. If you take a packet of ketchup, and put it inside just a regular bottle of water, it will, once it's sealed, you can squeeze the bottle of water. If you squeeze the bottle of water, it'll fall down. And what's great is with an almost imperceptible amount of muscle control, you can actually cause it to go up, down, or all around. You can do it as a truth detector, that kind of thing. But that's, uh, that's an alternate handling for you as well. Thanks to Diamond Jim for sharing that with us. But you guys were great. Go out, enjoy it. Nice. You guys were fantastic. Thank you, Thank you so much, guys. <laughs> First and foremost, we want to thank Mr. Diamond Jim Tyler for tipping us off to the ketchup in the water bottle version of this one. You can read about it in his book, Bamboozlers, and don't forget, Bamboozlers 2 just came out at his website. Now, if there's one weird thing about this trick, it's that there's so many different ways to present it. Do you do it as a bar scam or just a cool trick to mess with your friends? I want to know what works best for you guys, so post your stories at the boards at revision3.com slash scamschool, where you can see all of our episodes right back to episode one. If you want to hit me up with one of your favorite bar scams, I'm at Brian at Revision3. If you're doing the Twitter thing, you can follow the show at twitter.com slash scamschool, or find out when I'm coming to your hometown and doing some special scam school meetups by following twitter.com Wood. Next week, we're going to be learning how to sew an entire suit out of porcupine quills. But first, I'm going to get back to the bar. There used to be someone. Get out of here! I was so famous once. I used to be a scam at a bar. What the hell? Get out of here! Get. Get. Ah!